Welcome guys to another video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. Today we are taking a look at the new patch note which is going to go into detail of what we're going to be getting next. New events, new characters, new costumes and whatnot. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video to fully understand what we are getting in the next update because the next update is coming up very very soon. Anniversary was pretty dope and cool but it is important that we take a look at all the interesting stuff coming out. Hopefully some free ways to get some more summons as well because I'm pretty sure every one is broke at the moment so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content on the k goddess of victory don't forget to click the like button as well show your support you guys are absolutely fantastic and amazing so let's go ahead and get 50 likes in today's video so let's take a look at this the game server will be offline for maintenance and updates on the 23rd of november so three days for me uh during the time uh you will not be able to log in we already know about that so the maintenance duration is going to be from 11 to 15 so that is approximately uh four hours is it four hours 11 to 12 yeah i think it's four hours um the actual event duration might vary okay that's cool so taking a look at what we're getting we're obviously going to be getting a new character known as tove now i don't cover leaks on my channel so i won't actually you know make a video on what this character skill is right now we have to wait for the official release but we have a small description on what she can actually do over here so um she's a newbie uh, she's a limited squad newbie who claims to be a survival expert ssr uh, nikkei tov joins the battlefield so this is the skills over here so tov specializes in strengthening allies weed and shotgun weapons with her normal attack she enhances the attack power of, of of all allies and grants more beneficial effect to allies using sg shotgun weapons now one thing you should know supportive characters in nikkei is absolutely important and amazing any supportive character are always some of the best characters to summon for so i can't lie she is looking like a character you might want to summon for but the issue is do you even have the resources to summon for her so i want to summon for her because you know supportive skill however she's more mainly used it looks like she's mainly going to be used in shotgun teams i don't really run shotgun teams except for sonna and summer anis drake i don't think i run any other shotgun oh wait we do we have noir as well we have um oh i can't remember the rest of the shotgun characters but none of them i don't know maybe in the future when we get more shotgun characters this character will you know be even better but a supportive character can only scale um very well can scale higher as more shotgun character comes out this character should hopefully keep getting better so honestly i do think uh this is a character that might potentially be a good character to summon for uh let me quickly see shotgun oh we also have night Nig as well as a shotgun uh, we have guilty drake I can, actually we don't have that many good shotgun characters for dps so um maybe this is just a character that we very very strong in the future as well um anyways so she's a supportive class uh does it tell us what burst she is no i'm hoping it's either like a burst one or burst two i can't really remember but she's definitely not a burst three um if she was that would be terrible but maybe it looks looking like a burst one but i can't lie um anyways so she is a water code character she's in the millicillus as well is it Mr. Liz? No, it's Tetra we used to get a lot of our uh, characters for. Anyways, um, obviously we're going back to the regular 2% chance for pulling a character. Exchange with gold match tickets. I'm not going to be doing that even if I don't summon for her. Um, I won't, I would actually try to summon for her. I'd try and do like a couple of multis in her banner. But um, if, I didn't, if, I, if I don't get her, I'm not using my gold match tickets. Uh, anyways, we're also going to be getting a new costume for Noir. Now, Noir is already one of the most beautiful characters in the game. Um, she is the bunny girl character. So, how? Oh, wait, it's called Black Rabbit. Wait a minute. Her, she already looks like a Black Rabbit with the costume. Noir. Wait, Noir is the white one. Right? No, Blanc is the white one. The white bunny. So, special costume Noir Black Rabbit. I am very confused on this because she already has a black outfit on. I don't know how they're going to make him more lewd or more sexy. I don't know. Uh, but we have to wait and see. I'm actually looking forward to this costume though. Um, let's see. Black Rabbit can be obtained from the December Mission Pass. Okay, we've getting a, we've been getting a bunch of really good costumes from the Mission Pass. So that's actually cool. So, anyways, new event called Alone Survivor um is this wait 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 is this the rerun one lone survivor huh let me just quickly check this up right now but anyways the new events new story event called lone survivor um from the 23rd all the way to the 7th of december um is it alone or alone alone survivor sorry about that awkward silence i'm trying to find out if it is 
the one we've gotten before oh no it's not it's okay never mind it's a new event yeah for um for tove so whatever we already know about that yet yeah, it's basically going to be how the event will usually run so we get to the challenge stage as well um opening a lone survivor yep yep okay seven day login event survival signal or oh, can we please get some summons from here please we need a lot of summons game nick k please help us out we we've, we broke give us like 20 summons for free uh, I really doubt they do that. It's probably one multi, and I hope it isn't like the standard banner summons. But anyways, um, full birthday as well is gonna be coming up on the second of December. Mark that in your calendar. This is very very important. So from the second of December all the way to the fourth of December. Oh wait, Christmas. Are they gonna give us some really cool stuff for Christmas as well, like Christmas rewards? That'd be cool. Oh yeah, there we go. Miracle Snow. This is an archive so fully voiced story events miracle snow is now available in archives participate in the lone survival to obtain memory films to unlock story events and archives it doesn't say we're going to be getting the characters back in the banner so that's kind of disappointing because i was hoping to get them back and then hopefully buff them up as well because can't lie both of them are not really meta so it would have been pretty nice for them to rerun the banner and then also give us in uh what's called a buff for them as well Anyways, going over, so yeah, go over to Outpost, Commander Center, you know how to get the archive side. Um, Union Raid is going to be starting from the 24th of the November, um, all the way to the 30th of November, so do that. Um, coordinated Operation as well, so the boss is going to be Modernia, DMT. Wait, challenge the boss, yeah, Modernia, we already know how this works. Um, new commodities, new character package will be added, you know, it's the typical stuff. And then... Um, December mission pass as well coming up so overall the event or the update is pretty tame and timid it's just a new character um, you know we just came out of a really hype event the anniversary so obviously moving forward it's going to be some really tame stuff and then eventually some really hype stuff um, Christmas should be hype in terms of rewards and new events and new characters um, not Halloween we've already done that sorry um, New Year's should be the main, main hype one honestly because New Year's last year was pretty hype. I think we got Liberation around that time as well. So I'm hoping New Year's bring about a new like event, a new content. Because New Year's starting a New Year's, we might as well get some new content as well. So honestly, I'm hoping that new events, like New Year update, will be better um, in terms of new content. Because Anniversary is kind of disappointing in that regards, where we didn't get anything really new. It was just like a normal event, new character, and everything else was exactly the same. We did get to a bunch of resources which is cool but it was kind of it kind of felt weird when the anniversary didn't really have anything new or um something you know hype around it but anyways maybe they're saving that all for the next update but anyways nikkei is still great nikkei is still amazing so stay tuned for more content on the game if you guys enjoyed this video you like my quick summary on all the amazing stuff coming to the game make sure you are subscribed to the channel and show your support guys it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out